Hey friends, I know I usually enter these videos with a more exaggerated personality, even if sometimes it comes across as more childish. That's because I feel it amplifies the content and makes it a little more entertaining for a wider variety of people, even if I know some people don't like it and it turns them off from the content, and sometimes it can damper the final result of a video when I go too far with the act. But for this video at least, or for at least the first two minutes of it, I'd like to be more sincere and show you a more genuine side of me. I want to say thank you. Thank you for helping me reach 100,000 subscribers. On August the 10th, my 18th birthday, at 11 p.m., we finally hit that one goal. That one goal I've had for myself since I was 11. Or more accurately, probably since even before then. I'm only saying since 11 because that is when I made a channel. But it's more likely that I've had this goal since a lot longer and just can't even remember that far ago now. Ever since I was a kid, I've told people this was the only dream job and the only goal I set for myself. I wanted to reach 100,000 subscribers and have a silver play button hanging up on my wall somewhere. And as far as I can remember, everyone told me it would simply never happen. People in my high school told me I didn't have the talent for it or that I didn't have the personality for it. People in my personal life told me it was way too difficult a goal to achieve and statistically, only 0.1% of channels ever reach 100,000 subscribers. So to be sat here today and be able to say that I've achieved that goal, that I'm at 100,000 subscribers, that that one goal I set for myself so many years ago has been achieved is genuinely so meaningful to me. It's more than I could ever express in words. And I want you to know what you guys have done for me. To sit here today saying I do this as a full-time job, I don't go to education anymore, and that I'm going to have that plaque hung up on my wall, it's insane. Genuinely insane. I can't believe how much you guys have done for me in the past few years, and I do genuinely hope you continue to support me. What you guys have done for me has allowed me to create things I never thought I'd be able to make, like the plushies, which I've had in the works for quite a while. You guys have given me everything I could have ever asked for, and it genuinely means more than I think I could possibly express. I just want you to know that I'm grateful and I want you to hear from me in my own words how thankful I am. Thank you. And with that being said, let's get back into the drama. Two weeks ago, I made a video criticizing Omnia for a video they made titled Trauma vs. Drama where they tried to explain the differences between the two and definitely didn't trigger anyone or cause any controversy within the art community. Is what I would say if I was completely blatantly lying to your face. This video was not very good. There were a lot of issues within it and me and many others criticized Omnia for the terrible mistakes they made within it. This video gatekept what could possibly be considered trauma as people like Pondus Brockett called out in comments. And also the thumbnail was plagiarized artwork from another artist who Omnia had stole the idea of an art piece for and not credited in any capacity on the video. Overall, probably not their best idea, but then when people criticized them for it, instead of taking accountability for the mistake Omnia had very clearly made, they decided to make a response particularly to Hopeless Peaches and not the many other people who called them out, where they labeled this whole situation as accusations instead of facts, and then tried to call out Peaches for all the things they'd got wrong in this video with none of their points sticking. It wasn't very good for Omnia, and I think most people are aware of the reason Omnia chose to target Peaches in particular with their video. Obviously, Omnia and Peaches have had controversy in the past, and I'm not surprised Omnia tried to take the opportunity to get Peaches off of their back instead of anyone else. There's bias there, and it is what it is. But regardless, these videos weren't very good, and also as a result, through the Streisand effect, many people discovered that this wasn't the first time Omnia had done things like this. In fact, it also, as I showed in my video, traced directly from the anime A Silent Voice a whole scene for one of their animatics, which is obviously not great and got them in more hot water showing that this wasn't the first time they'd traced or plagiarized and brought this whole situation to the attention of other artists like Pixu, who very quickly became aware this was something omnia had done to them too though to be fair this was likely a mistake from omnia because this was a re-upload from one of their previous videos where they referenced Pixie's artwork but in this video they hadn't credited them because it was a re-upload and to that end all i can say to omnia is that they should just be more careful when they're re-uploading the content from their old channel to make sure they actually credit the people who 
whose work they reference or take inspiration from, just so they don't find themselves in controversy like this again. Though I do have to give Omnia some credit. After Omnia was called out for this, Omnia did remove their two videos, the video on Peaches and their Trauma vs Drama video, mainly because both of them weren't very good and they didn't really look good for Omnia. And while to be completely honest, I 100% believe it's just because Omnia wanted people off of their back and felt it was the easiest way to do it, I appreciate that they did make the right decision and take those videos down because now their audience can't defend them or the things they said within those videos that weren't necessarily very good. Regardless of that though, I do have to say Omnia's apology, the newest video they uploaded where they try and explain away all of this, well, it, it wasn't very good. I mean, you're gonna see in a second, but yeah, not a great apology. Omnia's apology titled My Apology currently sits at 1000 likes to 1.2k dislikes and the description reads, I'm sorry. And one thing I do have to give Omnia credit for is the fact that even though it has a black thumbnail, they did actually make some visuals. So when I do this reaction, I don't have to do the Prism It Luke thing when I was reacting to his video where I just stare at a black screen. Thank you Omnia for making my job much easier and giving people some eye candy to look at. Let's get into it. Hello everyone. I just wanted to come on here to make a brief video to let you know that I hear you and that I'm sorry. Immediately, I've got to give Omnia credit for crediting the art inspiration for this video, and also for coming out of the gates and saying they're sorry. After stepping back and reflecting on my last two videos, I recognize that I missed the mark on more than a couple things. Firstly, I want to apologize for my poor wording surrounding the topic of trauma and drama. Due to my vague language and subpar phrasing, I ended up creating misunderstandings rather than explaining myself properly and effectively. I wanted to emphasize that I don't believe anyone's trauma is invalid regardless of when it came about, where it stems from, or what caused it. This is all good so far. I really appreciate that Omnia says out of the gate that it was not their intention to gatekeep trauma and that they believe the trauma people deal with is completely valid. It's good for people to know that their trauma isn't being gatekept by their favorite creator and that they're completely valid to be dealing with their own struggles and that no random YouTuber can tell you those struggles aren't valid or no random YouTuber can justify other people on the internet telling you those struggles aren't valid. I apologize for using terms such as lukewarm to describe a topic as serious as this, and I'm sorry that I oversimplified this deeply complex and nuanced topic. These are all very good points to make as well. I appreciate that Omnia apologizes for the lukewarm comment that many people satirized. The video wasn't very good, and when they referred to drama as a lukewarm experience, Knowing some of the dramas we've had in the past few years, not great. And also Omnia lying about it in their follow-up video saying they didn't say that didn't look great on them either. I never wanted what I said to come off as though anyone's trauma didn't count or was being reduced, minimized, trivialized, or otherwise invalidated. My previous clarification videos seemed to have resulted in further invalidation and although that wasn't my intention, I realized I didn't do the greatest job at communicating that. Again, I apologize for the misunderstandings my inability to communicate effectively have caused. The last thing I wanted was to hurt my viewers because of my phrasing, and for that, I sincerely apologize. I will do my best to be more careful of this in the future. Secondly, I wanted to address the art theft, plagiarism, and tracing claims. I drew this image in my video discussing trauma and drama. I used this artwork by Maggie Carb as my reference, and for the color palette, I used this reference. I have recently been accused of tracing and plagiarizing this work from Maggie Carb, but I want to clarify that I did not do that. I did not trace Maggie Carp's artwork, but rather I referenced it and drew it on my own, as is evident by this speed paint. The problem is Omnia, I don't believe you traced, and most people don't believe you traced. What we believe is that you plagiarized this artwork, and even by the definition you showed in your previous video, you did. So refusing to acknowledge and apologize for that just looks bad on your part. As plagiarism is defined, it's the practice of taking someone else's work or ideas and passing them off as one's own. And as I think is very apparent in your video, Omnia, you took Megacarp's ideas behind the art piece and aspects of their work, complete inspiration from it, and the entire design from it, and passed it off as your own, intentionally or otherwise. I think what you did was plagiarize it, and I think you refusing to acknowledge that looks really bad on your behalf, and as if you're acting disingenuously. My mistake was not crediting Megacarp in the description of my video immediately after I posted it. I also should have asked permission to reference Megacarp's work for my video instead of simply using it without her consent. However, when I was made aware that I had 
forgotten to add credit for the reference. I quickly fixed my mistake and reached out to Maggie Carr privately in order to apologize directly. That's all good. The problem is you refuse to acknowledge what you did actually wrong. You continue to say you referenced the art piece and that you should have reached out before referencing it. Nobody believes that's the case. Artists use references all the time. And as long as your work is very clearly distinguishable from the references, that's perfectly valid. When people commission artists, they send them references for poses, expressions, etc. The problem is, when they receive the end result, they aren't identical or otherwise almost a mirrored image of the thing they provided as a reference. It's a completely different end result with inspiration from the original. What you did was not that. What you did by its kindest definition would be heavily referenced, which is a problem, but more accurately, you plagiarized their artwork. And now I'm not saying you traced it because it's very obvious you didn't, but it is obvious that you stole everything from that art piece to the extent where it's 100% plagiarism. These pieces could very easily be confused. And I feel your defense in your previous video through the argument that Meg doesn't own the copy right behind Raven so thus they have no standing when it comes to owning this image was illogical and doesn't make you look any better. It feels like you're looking for excuses to get away with what you did without ever actually acknowledging wrongdoing when it comes to the art here. And that's also without even mentioning that you traced directly from a silent voice. She was very considerate and forgiving and we came to a mutual understanding about what she will or will not tolerate in relation to referencing her art. I will be sure to be more careful of this in the future, ask permission before heavily referencing another artist's artwork, and ensure that I properly credit my art references moving forward. Lastly, I apologize for disappointing members of my community with my miscommunications and absent-mindedness. I didn't realize the way I was communicating only made the circumstances worse, and the way I attempted to dispel false claims only exacerbated them. I didn't mean to harm or hurt anyone in any way, and the fact that I did makes me feel deeply regretful and apologetic. I realize now that it's less about my intentions and mindset, and more about the way my actions and words made my audience feel. The implications of my words, actions, and behaviors hurt the community I owe my career to, and I'm really sorry that I disappointed you as my viewer. I hope to be more cognizant of how I communicate and the things I imply with said communication. Thank you for watching and being patient with me. I understand I didn't make it easy for you to understand me. I understand that I didn't use the right words to explain myself, and I understand that I didn't always act appropriately given the circumstances, but I hope that, in the future, my changed behavior indicates growth and I'll work hard not to repeat the same mistakes again. Please do take care and enjoy the rest of your week. Honestly, if we exclude everything in relation to Mega Cup's art being plagiarized and all of the things Omni excluded and chose not to mention within this video, they addressed the gatekeeping of trauma in their previous videos, acknowledged that those videos will be removed, and apologized for any miscommunication within them. However, when we include the fact that Omnia completely refuses to take any accountability for what was quite obviously plagiarism of Meg's work without credit, the fact Omnia has a history of doing things like this in the past, and the fact Omnia chose not to mention the fact they were accused of plagiarizing or more accurately tracing artwork directly from a silent voice, this apology starts to fall flat on its face and feel as if Omnia just did the bare minimum to get away with not getting called out anymore and not being in any more hot water for the mistakes they made. A comment by Hex Marley also raises some other valid criticisms towards this video. Omnia was seemingly forgiven completely for this video by most of their fan base, despite doing the bare minimum. They went off on Hopeless Peaches multiple times within their previous videos and chose not to apologize for it within this video, despite being completely wrong in almost everything they said towards Peaches and acting so high and mighty as they made those criticisms towards Peaches. And Omnia also made the decision to monetize this apology video, which... Really? A comment from Charles of Denson also highlights another very, very valid point. Most of what Omnia says in this apology is, I'm sorry you misinterpreted what I was saying, or I'm sorry I can't communicate properly. But that really isn't the case. In Omnia's initial video, they made a list of things that were considered drama and things that were considered trauma. This wasn't a miscommunication. This was them saying outright what they believed was drama and what they believed was trauma. They gatekept what could be considered the two. And yet, in this apology, they act as if that isn't the case. There is no real acknowledgement of wrongdoing here. Omnia only does the bare minimum to pass off any accountability from the things they did. And it's very, very, very hard to act as if it isn't blatantly obvious that Omnia's intent behind this video was disingenuous at best. 
I think this apology was pretty bad. And while I do believe that they make some good points in it, it's so heavily watered down by all of the massive mistakes within it that honestly, I think it would have been better if Omni had just posted saying, I'm sorry, I've taken down my videos and left it at that. Then we wouldn't have had to hear all these excuses and them avoiding addressing many of the major points people had when it came to this video. I know Omni is probably not going to address any more of this. And even if they do, I don't expect any kind of friendly response even though I have had good communication with Omnia in the past. But regardless, Omnia, all I expect from you is that you do better. In the future, when you make mistakes like this, you make the efforts to properly address them and you don't intentionally avoid subjects while monetizing your video apologizing for this situation. I think you've disappointed a lot of people, including your own audience. And while this isn't a major thing, and I'm sure people will forget about it in a few weeks, I hope this does stick with you as a lesson learned and you show improvement in the next few months. With that being said, thank you for watching this video. If you are new to the channel, I would appreciate if you could subscribe. I make videos almost every single day. That's a blatant lie, by the way. I haven't uploaded in two weeks. I'm a terrible person. I hit 100k and they just faded off of the internet. But I do try and upload daily and I promise you it will happen. It will. I, I just need to... I don't know. I, I can't give you any YouTuber excuses. I'll do my best, okay? I do my best. Sometimes it slips my mind or sometimes I get busy. Sometimes I just don't want to upload on a day. I'd appreciate any subscriptions to help grow the channel even more. But I'd appreciate if you could follow my Twitter even more than that. We're aiming for 10,000 followers over there. So if something bad happens to this channel, we can hopefully signal boost any volume so that YouTube actually responds. Again, thank you for all of the recent support. 100k is more than I could ever possibly ask for. And it's is that untrue because I, I did ask for that goal? But I mean, you know what I mean? It's more than I could ever possibly have expected from you. And it means a, a lot to me, genuinely. Thank you for everything you've given me across the past few years. And I hope we can continue to keep growing and keep building a community in the next few years, given I don't get cancelled for probably liking some random Twitter post that somebody disagreed with. Who knows? I'll see you next time. Peace. Says you wanna rock with a nigga like me. I'm a stylish guy. Spend a little walk with a nigga like me. We can catch a fly Says she wanna rock when a nigga like me